as I continue with my composite and using direct adjustments and then cleaning up the edges on these different areas, remember I have the full ability that I've always had, as long as I have overlap, to transform and even if it's organic to warp it and to kind of change this content in the way I think best suits my vision for the landscape. So don't lose your, your own agency while putting these landscapes together. You're not a slave to what pixels you see. So you can go in there and really have full control. Oops, don't want to paint, I want to erase. And as you're zooming in and doing these kind of edge corrections, you might notice things that you want to adjust. For instance, I notice these white dots here. And shave off the top of this hill. Just going to keep it as a ridge. I'm just doing that with my 45% opacity eraser. Oh, but I like the foothills though. Hmm. So I'll keep those just vaguely in there. So when you're doing this and you find these little things you want to correct, there are a bunch of kind of editing tools we can use besides just your erasers and your selections. But you can do an awful lot with just a low opacity eraser like I'm doing right now, doing the edge of this lake and blending the sandbars into it as it comes forward. One of these tools is called the spot correction tool. And while I was zoomed in working on it, I noticed in this layer, I have these bright white dots that I don't want. So I have to unlock it. And you'll find the spot correction tool, it's underneath what looks like a Band-Aid the spot healing brush. You just click on that, you can choose the, the softness, I'll do about a 30% hardness, and the size, and then you just kind of paint the area you want to correct, and it will fill it in with content to wear with the pixels around it. So this is made for like getting rid of zits and things on photos but it can be used for any kind of unsightly blemish in your image. If I don't like this tree, I can get rid of it, soften it up. If the computer can kind of sample from what I'm wanting, which is sometimes a big if. But then you always have direct control of the pixels with your eraser. Okay, so I've got those hills, got a lot of mist going, kind of connecting them. 
If I feel like it's too much mist, I can always select it. somewhat loosely and I can do direct adjustments just to that selection. So levels, I can darken it a little bit. But I have to know what layer it's coming from. And that's not always a given. But you have full control of all these pixels. Okay. One last pass on these foothills, knocking them back a little bit more as they go into these mountains. All right, now I get to play with the tree. Since this is a big part of the composition, I want to take time to do this right, so I'm going to turn off the layers in front of it. That shows me i got to work on this side of the Painted Mountains. Let's do that quickly. My big transparency brush, really knock it back. The opacity down. Continue. Okay, this tree, lots to cut out here. I'm not gonna mess around too much. There's not a lot that I can use magic wand on because there's just so many different aspects. So I'm just going to go directly with my lasso with a 1% or a one feather pixel, one pixel feather rather. I'm just gonna start taking chunks away. This is where it's helpful to use my tablet and I get to decide which branches stay and which branches go and pruning ah accidentally move the selection there we go make sure you're on the right layer I'm going to go ahead and lock the others behind it that I've set. There we go. That's with the one pixel feather. That works pretty well. And it allows me to cut inside the tree if I need to. And because it's organic, it's okay if I have to reshape the tree branch a little bit.
Every once in a while, I'll save my progress, zoom out, make sure what I'm doing makes sense. Remember, I can always add or subtract from the selection using Option and Shift. If I slip up. And this is the side of the, the main tree. Because this tree is kind of the mid, mid ground, middle ground focal point of my composition, I want to make sure it stands up to some scrutiny. And I haven't adjusted its color yet. I wanted to do some basic cutout first so I can get a sense of how the sky looked behind it. But so far, so good. Then I will play with its direct adjustments. And then, though there's a lot of shapes, using the tablet can make this go fairly quickly. It doesn't need to be that painful. A little bit harder deciding what to keep and what to erase. 